Strap yourself in. Wood were prohibited. Not available in the state of shock. Hey, Dan Schinder here back at the Bonzo Bash, January 2014. If you have ever watched any episode of our show, you know Glenn Sobel. Right. They know me? They Because of you? Because yeah? if, they, if they watch the show, they know you've <laughs> been on. true. No, That's no. You, I mean. you, you've been a bro. Yeah. Well, I you've been a pro that. of the show. We appreciate My that. My pleasure. Yeah. Um, what's new as far as what you're able to talk about as far as the Alice Cooper album? The new record. Well, I don't know yet when that's coming out hopefully okay. real soon it's a covers record which we had a blast doing and there's a whole bunch of killer special guests which i don't know if i could talk about yet i'm a real good interview subject aren't i, I? It's definitely being, it's all about the mystique yeah being all secretive <laughs> i know it sounds well, what can you awful. tell us as far as the era of the cover tunes can you tell oh us it'll that? be like you know the 60s and 70s okay. mainly did yeah. you guys do like studio ambiance there with like lava lamps and incense? There, there might have been a little bit of that. We definitely tracked live on most of the stuff. Oh, Who does nice. that nowadays? Right. Right? Yeah. It, it wanted it to sound like the real deal from back in the 70s, yeah. the way people did it, where you had to play from the beginning of the song all the way to the end of the song. No cutting, no pasting. Yeah, well, there could be a little bit of that, because yeah. we, we tracked to a click track and right. Pro Tools, so you can do some editing based on that, but it's not going to be like all this fixed up, Pro Tools digital sounding record. I've heard some of it and I'm happy with it. Great. Who's producing? Bob Ezrin. Nice. Again, yeah. Yeah, good. Great. Yeah, man. Do you have any clinics coming up? Uh, we're working on that with Mapex. Hopefully get some things scheduled before we leave on tour in the, the late spring. So now is the time to do that. I'm going to be talking with some people at NAM here about that this weekend. Great. Sure. What, who are you listening to these days? When you're driving, when you're, oh, you just want to chill and listen to music, who do you listen to? I don't know. It depends what day it is, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, I've been listening to a whole lot of that latest Deftones record lately. Oh, I, cool. I'm a huge fan of theirs. Yeah. And every time they come through LA, I happen to be away, which bums me out, but I can always listen to the records. Right. You know, what else? Uh, I don't know. I listen to a lot of. A lot of talk radio these days. Yeah. Who do you listen to? Howard Stern okay. a little bit, right? Cool. And some of the podcasts out there. Right. Sometimes you got to take a break from the music. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you come back fresh. But no, no, I, I enjoy listening to so many kinds of music. Cool. Yeah. What can you tell, being that you give lessons, when you give lessons, what's the most important thing that you teach them to make sure the students get? And what age ranges do you teach so it has some context? Age range? Yeah. Well, it seems like mostly... The people that come to me, they're guys that have been playing for a while. Maybe they're even someone that's come in from out of town, another country. And they want to see my approach to things. And I'm, I'm not like the king of all knowledge with drums, but I have my approach. And I'm flattered that people want to gain some of that in lessons. But really, I'm first about reminding everybody that we're playing music. We're not just playing drums. So there's some guys right. that get so caught up in technique and technique. But then what about the music? You know, yeah. you what teach about them to play for the song and, and learning songs yeah. and liking songs. There's so many ways to teach how to play a bass drum double stroke with your right foot. But how about here's a song example, you know, yeah. like the intro to walk this way. Right. That's not an easy thing to do and keep it right. consistent and grooving and swinging. So you use a song to teach something. And I get really into the, the concepts over licks thing. I had a student come in the other day. And that was what it was about in a big way. He wanted me to, sh to show him a certain lick, uh -huh. you know, which that's fine. I'm cool to do that. But really, there's a whole system behind that and a concept where here I can show you what I did to arrive at this. And now you can use these tools to come up with your own ideas based on the concept. Right. To just show a lick. I mean, OK, I could do but that. But what's the context? How do you use it? What does it that do? Too. Yeah. Like, here's a screwdriver. Right. But what do you do with it? Here's you how you can build it? a house. Yeah. You know? That's cool. Yeah, it's really important that people figure things out on their own. Right. Yeah, that's that's important to build your, your brain power, you know? Right. You told me once before, you're always learning. Who are yeah. you learning from right now? Is there something specific that you like to watch, that you'll seek out? Or is it just like you happen on something and want to learn how to, oh, I want to check that out? Yeah, there's just things you stumble on. Yeah. Maybe you just, you see somebody play live and you go, oh, wow, there's a lick I've been doing forever, but I never did it that way. Yeah. I never thought of that, right? right? You can't think of everything. Yeah. That's the beauty of it all. Yeah. That happens all the time. Absolutely. It just happened two seconds ago. You don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard a lick inside. Someone played on a Zeppelin song, and I just absorbed it. That's cool. Yeah. So Stored it away in the hard drive. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Cool. Always on the defense with the, the learning and listening. Sure. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Glenn Sobel on Drum Talk TV for the 20... 
third time. Yeah. <laughs> we love having you on. You've always got such great info, oh, so thanks, much to learn thanks. from. And, you know, we try to make our show entertaining, but it's always educational. That's really what matters to us the most. You always bring that, man. Well, I appreciate that. You know, and now Nam is here this week. There's all these great shows going on. There's this right? tonight. And so I'm going to have fun playing my gigs, but I'm going to hopefully make some time to see some other people play right you know i know steve yeah. smith is playing at the chord booth there's one of my favorite guys ever yeah you know and you so, learn a thing or two from steve smith well, yeah i first came to <laughs> nam when i was a kid and i saw him and so many guys play and it was like you know it's paradise yeah pretty much only for drummers though that's about it you, know, yeah. you wouldn't want to bring your girlfriend to this unless she's a drummer <laughs> yeah cool hey thanks so, for joining us again you man it. you got it thanks for joining us here on drum talk tv